A week or two ago, I went around searching to find a big statue to put in this uh, area here, which is a lake with a waterfall. We've emptied it at the moment so that we can build this plinth, which is this, what the statue will sit on. It's two and a half metres high, and it's made of solid river rock, so it's extremely heavy. We ex think it's around about three to three and a half tonnes. So to get it down here is going to be quite difficult. Normally we would bring the truck down and lift it off. Unfortunately, we can't do that because the truck would never get out again. We'd never get the truck out of this hole again. So we're going to have to take it off bit by bit. It's a beautiful statue. It's a Ganesha. It's, uh, as I said, two and a half metres high. So it'll be almost as tall as the waterfall on top of this plinth. Ganesha is the most popular and widely worshipped deity in Hinduism. He is the god of wisdom, knowledge and new beginnings. He is also the patron of merchants, bankers, and students. Ganesha is depicted with an elephant head, a pot belly, and four arms. Normally we do with a forklift, but we can't get a forklift in there as it's just too steep. At stage uh, two, stage one was getting it on the truck and here, stage two is getting it off the truck and onto the ground. And uh, stage three will be get it down towards the plinth. And then the last stage four will be to actually lift it up onto the plinth. Yeah, there's a bit of work to do yet. This is a, a big statue, that's for sure. I noticed these poles, particularly the one around there, were sort of straining a bit. They looked a little bit, one was bending a little bit. So it, this is pretty much at its maximum for this. Okay, so we've come to a bit of a standstill at the moment. When that last one slipped, well, it looked like it slipped. In actual fact, it didn't, it bent. So there's the top of the pole like that. There's a piece of metal on it like that. That metal went and bent over like that on two of them. So we can't continue until they're repaired. So they've now taken them off to a workshop. So whether we'll get it finished today or not is now debatable depending on how quickly they, or if they can get these repaired today. Ganesha is also known as the remover of obstacles. He is often invoked before starting any new venture. Ganesha is the son of Shiva and Pavati. Well, here we are, day two. So far it's taken us probably close to five hours to get this off the truck and move from there to there. Today we're back again with a new strategy, holding it back with this vehicle's winch to make sure it doesn't tip. Hopefully the car won't go flying into the hole bit everything else. Oh, this is really, really quite crazy. Get the wood under, get the wood under. There she goes, whoa! Ah, we're out of danger now, we're gonna chip over now, that's for sure. So before lunch, one of the top supports for the winch has bent yet again. Now after lunch, the second one has bent. So now we've got two bent, so it's impossible to continue. So the whole thing has got to be pulled apart, the two arms taken off, taken to the workshop, and be heated up and straightened up and brought back again. And here we are at the end of the second day, and we ground to a halt yet again. The structure supporting the winch has buckled, and it's obvious that this tripod isn't going to do the job. So I've decided we'd have to make our own tripod, a new one, right from start. And we'll use stronger, wider pipe, and also a winch that's gonna be good for eight tons. 
Ganesha is said to be the author of the Mahabharata, one of the longest epic poems in the world. He is also said to be the inventor of the Sanskrit alphabet. Ganesha is a popular subject of Hindu art and sculpture. There are many temples and shrines dedicated to Ganesha all over the world. So this is now the fourth day since the statue arrived, and here we go with yet another brand new tripod and winch. So let's see if we can get this installation finished today. About 12 centimetres to clear top of the plinth and then we can bring it over. Finally we have the Ganesha statue in place four days after it arrived. Now we just have to fill in the concrete and put a few stones around the base and then we can refill the lake with water. One of the simplest engineering jobs that we thought would be fairly quick turned out to be one of the hardest. I'm sure the end result will be worth it. Let's wait and see.